heard I was asking Nick, you know, you're part of a senior class here that has yet to lose to CSU, and I think maybe at the, two of the seniors were fifth-year seniors, but most of you guys have never lost, and that hasn't happened here in a long time. What does that, what does that mean to you, and how, is, that a, is that a big motivation this week to, to make sure you don't lose to CSU while you're here? It would be our last week, especially when we used to do a bigger game, the biggest part of uh, career here, actually. So, um, yeah, not winning three games, but winning or possibly losing that last week to maybe take away all that. Yeah. So, know, so, so, that had, so, right. so maybe the biggest game of your career. I think so. Wow. What do you know? I mean, being from Colorado, Mike, you probably, do you know a lot of their guys? I know they have an offensive tackle that's from Highlands Ranch. Is, is yeah. Joe, like, uh, Joe did you play with him? Play right next to him. Right next to him, huh? On the offensive line? So... Uh, Joe Hans just recruited there last year. He's a, he's a freshman when I was a senior, so yeah. Um, I don't know him, but never really played with him. You and Joe pretty good good buddies, or, um, or we were in high school. We don't talk so much, but it's not like there's any bad blood or anything because right. we're in high school. It's like it's cool school. Uh -huh. But um, the running back I played in high school as well. Um, he's a good running back. So is that no okay? Yeah. Yeah. yeah you played against him in high school. So he was one of our big rivals in high school. Too, yeah. So. So it makes this special too. Is being, you know, you guys have, got a lot of guys from Colorado. You probably know a lot of these guys. That is that what makes this? Yeah, definitely. So it kind of makes this things a lot more fun. Um, it just kind of gets your blood pumping a little more. And you think, Mike, I mean, you remember the 2010 season. I mean, it was the last game of the year, and it was a frustrating season, but it seemed like you put it all together in that CSU game and, and really gave it up. Again, I know it's a different season. There's different players, uh, just different feeling, but you feel like maybe you guys are getting closer to maybe putting that complete game together. I'm not saying it would be 44 nothing, but, I mean, do you feel like it's getting closer to, to – to finally getting a, to put the game together for you guys. So I think talking to the guys and everything, just up until now, it's only Monday. Everybody's kind of ready for this game. They want things to go. They want things to click and things to really get rolling. So mm -hmm. I think this is definitely is. We still have four more games left. This will definitely be the game. Kind of the gotcha. Ben, your, if you had to describe it in a few words, what does the border war mean? Um, here in Wyoming, I think the best thing means everything. Uh, I have not been able to that. Things happen not only to the team and university, but to the state as well. Mm -hmm. and, um, I think for me personally, it's just kind of great to you guys at home. What's so okay. your favorite border war memory, at least to this point? Probably the 2010 day. You know, well, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, Right. Now it's Halloween, masking all the players. What was your favorite Halloween costume growing up that you had? Growing up. Mister. Or even, I guess, even now. I mean, if you're still going, if you're still dressing up. <laughs> no, I didn't really dress up too much. I think it was just one year that we had did a vampire. Okay. All right. So it was pretty good. And I think that's probably just the best costume I had. Sure. And more importantly, what's your favorite Halloween candy? I'm a chocolate guy, so it's probably Milky Way. Milky Way. All right.